CSR initiative by visa training and organized by the last leadership. My name is Yugandar and currently working in HR, uh, HR uh, manager HR in Everest MS Technologies. Leaders Connect is started with the specific objective of inviting thousand plus leaders and create a million leaders where all the working professionals, business people share their real time challenges, either leading self, leading others on our website, www.themaskleadership.com. We see all the challenges, filter them and every week on Wednesday, we invite top management leader from a corporate company who will be giving solutions for our real time challenges on leadership. That's when we call us leaders create more leaders. Currently, all are muted, and we will be giving you an opportunity to speak to our guest, Mr. Devarayan, a head compliance from Hitachi Energy. But before that, let me also share that we are currently live on Facebook, and this episode uh, uh, 071 is being recorded. For the visitors who are joining the first time, you may also click on the WhatsApp, Facebook, and LinkedIn on the chat box to get updates on a weekly basis and join us in creating more leaders. Also, we request all our members and visitors to turn on your videos, and which will help us in making the episode highly interactive. So are we all ready to interact with our guest Devar Ryan on the topic, a new era? That's great. Thank you. Uh, before the introduction of the guest, let me also take the privilege to introduce founder of the Leaders Connect. And uh, today's panel discussion leader would be Ms. Archana Shera, currently working as manager of HR CreaDocs. Yeah. Hi, uh, Yugender. Thank you very much. Yugender, am I audible? Yeah, Prakash. Yes. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thanks for initiating and welcome all the leaders. Welcome our guests. Welcome our members as well for this awesome Leaders Connect platform again on the specific episode as what Yugendra has told as 071. Great. So uh, with that, we are going to introduce our uh, a guest speaker, but before I take the uh, opportunity to introducing our guest speaker, definitely most of the people are aware uh, about <clears throat> this awesome personality who was there with us. And uh, yes, so I would like to share with about him in a couple of pointers, and then we have a video to share about him on his professional experience as well. So uh, we will be playing the video on his professional experience, and then is where I'll invite Mr. Devarayan, who's going to specifically talk on the specific topic, a new era of leadership. And what's that? That's what we're going to discuss more in detail. And let's take it up. So uh, <clears throat> for me to play this video, before I play the video, uh, Yugender, uh, I would, uh, I believe you've already done the introduction, personal introduction of Mr. Uh, 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 Dev Ryan. No, personal introduction. Uh, let me uh, introduce personal introduction. Yes, we can finish off. In the meantime, I'll yeah. Please. Sure, sure. Okay. Now it's privileged to introduce about a uh, personal introduction about our guest, Mr. Daivarayan. So, Mr. Daivarayan is married to uh, Dr. N. Sharada. And uh, Dr. Sharada profession is uh, working as a, a professor for MCOM programs in PS University. And uh, they have two children, uh, daughter uh, Sri Sushila Devarayan and son Sri Charan Devarayan. And uh, uh, studying, a uh, daughter is studying uh, 12th and son is studying 6th. And Mr. Daivar and hobbies are reading books, listening to music, listening to motivational speech and motivating people. And his favorite sports are cricket, football and volleyball. And he is from Bangalore. Great. Yeah, Prakash. Thanks very much for the awesome introduction of Mr. Dev Ryan. That's really great and wonderful. So I'm going to play now the video of the professional experience of Mr. Dev Ryan shortly. So just a moment and I'll play the video, please.
Wonderful. <clears throat> awesome, man. Thank you very much. Uh, and all the participants, please do write, welcome, Mr. Devarayan. And yes, Mr. Devarayan is here for us for the specific episode on highlighting more key factors and points about a new era of leadership. Welcome, Mr. Devarayan. Thanks, Prakash, for the wonderful welcome. I would be privileged, you know, started this, uh, started as a member in this community and uh, being a guest of honor. So I'm privileged. Privilege being, thanks very much. Uh, that's been really awesome that we all have been understanding and learning from each other is what I would always share and say. Great. So uh, on the specific topic, the new era of leadership, we also have a panel discussion leader. Let me take also the privilege to uh, invite our panel discussion leader. Uh, Ms. Archana Shriram, who is going to have uh, certain key questions uh, on the specific topic where this uh, discussion will happen and we'll all be having more clarity about what's this new era of leadership. So uh, I would in invite Ms. Archana Shriram here on the screen and she has been a HR manager and uh, she has been with us and uh, early, very long, she was also been a trainer turned into a HR uh, function. She has been into managing HR. So on that note, thanks very much, uh, Archana, for joining us again on this particular leadership platform on Leaders Connect 360. We welcome you, Archana. I believe you can unmute. Uh, Asha, maybe we need to unmute. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. So thank you, Prakash, sir, for introduction. And welcome, Mr. Daivarayan. It is very, uh, it's an honorable moment for all of us. So. Let, without any you know uh, wastage much of time let us go on with the discussion which i would really love to uh, Definitely, yes, more no, always that so yes. over to you archana and then look forward for an excellent and a fruitful discussion which comes out for us so, over to you archana please proceed exactly. thanks and thanks, Mr. Archana. yeah yes. so uh, here's something which i would really like to put forward as a first uh, part of discussion so over the years of time we have seen that um, the leadership level of people has of course changed just like the society has changed and quite a good number of things. Most importantly, earlier we saw that the uh, founders or the co-founders of the organization, the company, they used to hold the important decisions. So they were a part of the board of directors and they, they had an important talk, they had an important say in any decision. So now with the advent of time, where do you think that this leadership uh, style has evolved? And uh, in your experience, if you could state certain examples, it is going to be definitely much more insightful. Yeah, thanks for that question, Narchana. Actually, you know, I'll put a disclaimer for the entire show. Uh, whatever I'm sharing, it may not may be right or maybe wrong, but it is what I have understood from all these years of experience, right? Like, you know, uh, to some uh, it might sound good and so to some it might sound wrong, but that's what I have experienced. So that's a disclaimer. First of all, I just wanted to put in because every leader would have experienced it a different way, right? So uh, because you know your answer itself got a proportion of the answer, right? Like you know maybe those days uh, we were uh, listening to the leaders, right? Like whatever whatever they say, okay, uh, the board decides and we have to just to follow. And uh, normally people call that as a powerhouse. So there is a powerhouse. And the powerhouse emits power and all the areas receives power. Similarly, those days, the management act as a powerhouse and they deliver, uh, what do you call it, as instructions. Uh, thinking that as maybe their team may not be uh, competent enough to take such decisions or competent enough to move on further without their instructions kind of thing. So might be there also because we are not in those eras. Uh, we, we might have not known that whether that was a real situation or not. But uh, coming to the present situations, so like, you know, a lot of democratic decisions, right? Like, you know, maybe whenever there is a decision, major decision which is going to uh, happen in the company, all the key functions, the, the key function managers have been called upon for a meeting and they say that, okay, this is, the, this is what we are going to do. Please put your pros and cons. And their function managers, the, the leaders of the functions, will discuss with their you know, teams. Okay, yeah, oh, this is what the you know uh, this is what the key decision which has been given to me. So you you want your inputs. So now uh, probably I would say that from the powerhouse it has been it has been 
now changed it to a model called the flat the street light model like you know everywhere there are lights and <laughs> there is no one light giving power to the entire area there are street lights in every distance at every distance wherein you that the light will cover the entire travel of the <laughs> journey right so uh, the that is what the shift uh, actually which has happened in the leadership level and also going more deep into that uh, those days uh, only the operations people have become leaders right like you know say for an example if it is a manufacturing company only the person who was very good in manufacturing or who knows the entire uh, say for an example automobile engineering uh, company so uh, an automobile engineer who knows the entire process will become a ceo or a or a managing director or something like that right but uh, the case is not there uh, like that now like you know you are having hr people becoming the ceos the finance people becoming the ceos marketing people come becoming the ceos leaders it says that yeah hi uh, like you know you uh, everybody every individual uh, has a potential to rise as a leader it's so not only one function like you know uh, not only hr function not only finance function not only production or function or not only operations function every function has a capability to rise up to the leadership level so uh, now the trend is like you know maybe everyone can become a uh, you know leader provided they have the skills required skills so uh, maybe to name a few of hr uh, uh, a person became a ceo uh, like one of our uh, chief guest earlier in leaders connect was padmakar he was heading the hr and later on he became the ceo for bharat petroleum corporation limited actually he was from hr background and he was heading hr and similarly like you know you were renu sati so she was a ceo of petium uh, she was also from a, uh, looking after hr and uh, mary ban he she was a first female ceo of general motors and to name a few lena nayar she is a ceo of channel she is also from a hr background she was heading hr for unilever at london but now she is heading she as a uh, heading ceo as a channel and uh, from from finance uh, wns group have murgesh from finance uh, background as uh, as a ceo and uh, like uh, vishaka from icici miss vishaka from icici she is from finance background heading naturally that uh, banking sector so now the trend is there like everyone and anyone can become a ceo provided you have the skill set right and the most important skill set what i would see in all those people is the uh, uh, people skills and uh, and and their and their focus on the what you call it as delivery so like what is required by the company right they are very clear the picture is very clear for them and uh, they work towards that and uh, the the see the managing directors of the board who appoint ceo right like the only board appoint ceo they were impressed upon these people working towards that goal let it be finance let it be marketing let it be anybody so they are very much impressed on these people working towards the goal and uh, uh, that's how uh, you know the the new era of leadership has come up uh, uh, like you know are coming up in in, the, in these days and uh, it's a good move that's what i can say so i think hope i have answered your question it's bang on spot on i really really appreciate in fact all of us are uh, you know agreeing to this point said by you that any one of us can be leaders provided of course we have the skills i would sum it up saying as you know uh, leadership is something with which we are born or even if we are learning it from somebody uh, i mean along the way i would say that leadership is not about having the power it's about empowering the people yes yes so that's where uh, i think you are right on the aspect that uh, i mean we all agree on this aspect that it is a whole lot about the skills and the abilities of the person if the person has the people skills there you are becomes a leader irrespective of what is the background domain of that person here is something which i would really like to add so uh, so being from the hr background uh, taking interviews is you know like a part and parcel of my professional life so i quite often see that when uh, there are people whom i'm interviewing who already have some 20 30 years 40 years experience their approach their uh, answers their anything and everything is a whole lot different from the people who are freshers into the industry so uh, quite often i have seen even though i do not go and sit upright in the front but i have it going out in my mind that there is a big difference in the attitude level of uh, leaders 
who are there from 30 years in an organization and a leader who has just graduated from college. So most importantly, the ethics is kind of missing in these people, or I would say the organization way of life and quite a good number of aspects are missing. And uh, I think uh, I would have quite a good number of people backing me up and saying that uh, they just would, uh, you know, like they, they are a whole lot on money oriented. So <laughs> you give me 20 here, you give me 22 there. So there you go. That is the level of loyalty which comes in. So what do you think in your uh, experience or in your point of view, how can this leadership skills, which you are actually talking about right now, which we all are listening to right now and advocating it, uh, how do you think these leadership qualities can be imbibed upon these pressures or the okay. coming generation? Okay, so you, uh, you okay, in your uh, view, so you, you, you have also told part answer of that, right? Like, you know, the experienced persons are more or less like, you know, stabilized and... I'm so know, sorry, I have to probably keep my question very brief. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, see, like, you know, maybe what, you know, what I'm saying is like, you know, uh, as you rightly said, uh, the, uh, the experience different differs, right? The experience has a difference right so uh, when you uh, when you are a fresher you don't know about what is industry right like you know when because when when i have entered entered industry i know what okay some money uh, some money will come into my bank account and uh, i have some pf and uh, i can i can i can enjoy with, with that later what else i know as a fresher right like you know i don't know anything about the industry how the industry works or how the industry is behaving i don't know anything as i'm just freshly graduating uh, out of the college you know, from uh, uh, parents' money. And uh, I so far, I have only spent, I don't know how to <laughs> earn and I, I don't know how to save. So the mindset is so more about the money and uh, like, you know, how much I'll get, uh, how much uh, I can spend, all this stuff. But when you go on to the experiences, like they will get it, okay, this is how the industry behaves. And uh, this is how uh, uh, the, the, there is a place for me. This is how the place is for this particular skill set. So they start understanding about this in, 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 in the way of life or in the walk of the life. So when you get experience, so you will get mature. So, so as we rightly, not only they leave about the, uh, what you call it as the industry, in the personal life also. So uh, when you get older, you will get mature. So, so many things, uh, when you argue in your younger ages, like, you know, that, this and all, when you get, when you are getting older or when you're getting experiences, when you're getting matured, like, uh, you will, you will be stable or you will understand the situations better rather than arguing. Those, that time you will say that, okay, yeah, better, uh, better be silent than arguing. So, <laughs> I don't get anything by arguing, so I let, let, let me better be silent. So, that maturity comes. Uh, when you when you get into the industry, when you get exposed or experienced to various levels of people, and uh, that's where the difference is. But however, I would say to the young generation people, uh, like you know, uh, you know about bonfire, right? Uh, uh, everyone would have heard about bonfire. So I would say the young leaders, uh, it's a piece of suggestion. I cannot say advice because you know people don't listen to advices nowadays. So one suggestion is uh, be a, like a bonfire uh, with the with the with your leaders, with your leaders, with your immediate manager or your immediate leaders. So why I'm saying is that no, so close, no, so far. So in the bonfire, if you so very close, so you will you will just get fired <laughs> by the fire. Like when you when you go out of a, a distance circle. And you will not feel the heat at all, right? And uh, there is no use of bonfire at all. So you have to be at the exact distance with the with, with the man with the manager or the management, so that one thing is like you know you will not get hurt while by the close vicinity, and also you you will not be invisible by going far away. So <laughs> when you go far away, you will be invisible to the manager management or managers, and when you so close <laughs> close, you will get hurt. So I would say to the young people that. Uh, like, you know, okay, so you have to maintain a good uh, uh, what rapport with your team, with, the, with, the, uh, with your managers. And also uh, for emerging leaders to, to bring loyalty, you don't focus on only on your department. Say for, say for example, you are working in HR. Might be you are, as a, you are as a HR manager, you might be knowing that what finance does or what, uh, what your business does, what is the business requirement, what is your finance requirement. 
and maybe you when you are doing your budgeting for uh, salaries and all okay so what is the budget for this year and how will i allocate to different people so this is how when you mingle with other departments then you will get the transparency the transparency how it comes right like when you start mingling with other people and other department the transparency automatically will flow in so there is there is no uh, kind of you know barrier to that only thing is like you know now the young generation is will be uh, most of the people i'm saying not all you will be limited to their you know what what you call as the boundaries okay i am i am a programmer i'll just do my program and i'll go back <laughs> and uh, i am a hr specialist and i do my payroll attendance and that's all my work and i i'm done with but they are not interested to learn the other functions which i would say that you know if if, if that is there definitely this uh, loyal ethics everything will flow in so maybe my piece of suggestion would be like you know mingle with people understand the differences Different differences will be there like you know in our own family like brother and sister is not same <laughs> so definitely there are differences so uh, so uh, uh, please understand the differences and try to accept the differences that's what i can say to the younger generation Thank you so much, sir. This was in fact something uh, useful for me as well. And I would really state that in the course of time, over the passage of years, even I have started understanding that. Initially, even I used to go by the aspect, just like you said, that let me just do my job well. But then I realized that, you know, just like you mentioned, we need to mingle with others. So I started interacting with people from various departments. That's where I saw that how much of people's skills is very much oriented. Now it's like people from other departments go over, go over and say that, okay, let us uh, go and attend this meeting. Archana is a host there. <laughs> Even though I'm not working with them, it's it, that's how the way of life. And that is how creating leaders are basically. So uh, here is something just like uh, you mentioned, speaking about various departments, you have a profound experience into uh, compliance. So telling from that point of view, something which I faced exp uh, or even not just me, as we go uh, experience in this industry, this question always remains in our mind. That is, how do we basically bring down the, um, uh, how do we basically control the retention of employees? So this is where from a compliance point of view, uh, where do you think that uh, you would be, you are basically helping out in retaining the leadership styles in the organization. Okay. Have you ever held something like this? This is kind of... Okay. So maybe you see like, you know, uh, compliance and compensation benefits, everything go hand in hand, right? Like, you know, maybe the compensation and the compliances. See, like, uh, I, will, I would say the leaders, so like, maybe at, at what point of level also let, let them be. The leaders should be compliant why the leader should be compliant right because i am from a compliance background for the for about now 17 years 17 18 years so i would say why why compliance is important and uh, see like you know uh, one 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 quick thought to understand this so you know how to drive a motorcycle and you say you just uh, drive a motorcycle and you are going out uh, in the streets uh, maybe with a proper helmet and all uh, but you don't have a license you don't you have not taken a license how 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 uh, would be your mindset or how would be, how would be your heart will you be enjoying the ride or will you be like thinking that hey the policeman will catch me or when the policeman will catch me how, <laughs> what fine they will collect how would your mind would be right so uh, compliance is something like that i'm just taking one particular uh, thing as an example when you are compliant you must you can deliver your business we can deliver your uh, you know what you call it as the uh, yeah, efforts you can deliver your work very freely without any anything at the any, anything anything at the mind right so no worries and uh, no uh, uh, fear and uh, you are free to deliver your what you for what you want but at, at the other way if at all you are not compliant what person will come how the reputation will go say for an example nowadays uh, not like earlier it will come in the next day paper it will appear nowadays in the flash in the video whatsapp video and uh, you know the facebook twitter if you some if some company goes wrong okay here yeah, this company have uh, you know uh, slapped a person so it will flash on in all the websites in all the twitters and all this stuff so we are in a very fast world so the reputation the, the company's reputation will go off in compliances and uh, 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 being a leader we should be very compliant and we should encourage people to be very compliant uh, uh, by whatever the level they are 
compliance is not only the taking the license or maintaining the you know hr records not, it is not only compliances compliance is a, is a very big word wherein you adhere to the guidelines which is very important you adhere to the guidelines of the society you adhere to the guidelines of the industry and uh, you adhere to the guidelines of the company as such so you are as a as a industry we have certain guidelines as a society we have some guidelines as a company we also have certain policies and guidelines so follow uh, everything with uh, uh, without uh, uh, watching anybody like you know you say that integrity like integrity there is a definition do do it right <laughs> whenever people don't see also that is what the situation or that is what the uh, place where we have to bring in uh, our employees and our team so compliance plays a big role uh, delivering a business uh, and delivering your uh, work freely without any fear and uh, apart from that you know the retention of employees compensation benefit there are you know different types of employees okay so you talked about young people who are coming from fresh from graduates what they know they know only money so they want only money to spend maybe on their gadgets or um, some people to their parents to <laughs> some people to their families and uh, most of the people are on their own and uh, some people are on their social uh, when you grow up say for an example he get married or she get married they have a family then their social needs will increase they will more look upon okay yeah i did they have a family insurance did they have a uh, okay travel insurance uh it's more toward the the mind goes towards security like social security so okay my family is covered or not all this stuff so when you go up in the ladder maybe in the top management they uh, they are they will be striving for the authorities okay so today i am taking care of one region tomorrow if some other region comes in they will be very happy it means to retain the employees you need not to only pay money you can give one additional responsibility that itself will be very happy for some means i'm not saying that i'm not generalizing but uh, uh, the, for majority of the people when you when you are in the uh, down ladder more for money when you are in the middle management you more for the social security and some some sort of increase in the money and maybe in the top ladder more on authority and uh, the <coughs> what you call it social needs they will be looking for yeah thanks for that question arjun thank you very much for summing it up it was actually nice because i could relate my personal life to it i just this morning had a discussion on retention uh, with an employee and it actually led to the same thing just like you stated so it was not on the money orientation it was also giving on certain responsibilities we went ahead and spoke to the manager to uh, consider the person for another department's role which was at a slightly higher level than what the person is working right now so this is something very nice and something really beautiful to look forward to uh, thank you very much for your thoughts thank you very much for your insights i believe one among the uh, most inspiration uh, most inspirational leaders or most uh, beautiful insights which we got from the various episodes will definitely be yours sir so over to you prakash sir please go ahead thank you very much <coughs> thanks very much uh, archana that's an awesome interaction which has happened thank you very much mr devaran for uh, excellent inputs which have been sharing especially into this new term called new era of leadership and we understood what that era is now and a uh, lot of different different revolutions are coming up and that's how when you share it's really adding more and more value to us great thanks very much mr devarayan and thanks archana wonderful question which has been asked which has triggered many people's thought process and the answers what in fact devarayan is sharing his experience shows the way how he has been great so uh, wonderful so uh, all the uh, members and visitors now is the time for the quiz so uh, for the quiz uh, 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 yourself okay, thanks very much every week we will have uh, during the uh, leaders uh, uh, speak or leaders sharing their thoughts and views we have one quick quiz based on the quick understanding of what all we have received so this time for the quiz i invite mr pankaj vyas from bija training who will be taking up this quiz for us in specifically asking uh, certain key questions for all the members and visitors so members and visitors stay the fastest fingers first so over to you pankaj for asking the quick quiz question hi good evening everyone and they were answered it's uh, really good to hear all the good points which really helps us to understand the 
real life leadership what it all about so there is very simple thing which you talked about sir uh, you talked about the connecting with the people right so to minimize the resistance with the people you have emphasized on two points what is that we should one should be doing to create more transparency and to have more connect with the people so exactly. there are two things you have talked about what one should do so that is what my question is what mr dev rai talked about to connect to the people what one should do there are two points he talked about and let me give you the hint that answers are coming on the chat box pankaj so one mr sendil kumar has answered already one saying that emerging leader to bring loyalty rangarajan says reflect being bonfire scd i'm not to show the name but uh, he or she scd says people management let me give the uh, hint it was related to differences what we should do to differences good one anil goswami says servant leadership differences if you can just share the hint is the difference is that what you say uh, yes what we should do about the differences there are two things he emphasized bona is sharing uh, pankaj saying that know the differences and accept them yes right so <laughs> i keep told by her so bona is the one so it's accept the differences and understand the differences rightly told by her so she is the winner oh wonderful wonderful excellent uh, pankaj thanks for sharing it awesome awesome so bona is the winner so all the members and uh, the visitors kindly type congratulations bona so congrats bona so acceptance is the key there and that's what in fact mr devrayan i believe has shared that we need to accept it is that right uh, devrayan yeah of course so oh, actually course. like you know maybe uh, there is a quote like you know accept accept whatever you cannot change and uh, know how you can live with that so that's yes. how it is great great thanks thanks very much uh, devrayan and wonderful congratulations bona you receive a 250 rupees Wow, wow, worth of Amazon gift voucher. Congratulations, Bhuvana, for winning the two fifty rupees of Amazon gift voucher, and that will be delivered to you uh, through email, which can be used uh, for buying either books or any of the other articles from Amazon. You can use it. So thanks very much, Bhuvana. So Bhuvana, since that you have uh, taken up the uh, uh, or uh, won the quiz. So if you have any questions, open questions, and we can ask. But before that. for all the members and visitors who have come here for the first time let me share quickly that we have two ways now is the time for open question two ways you can interact with our guest mr devarayan one either raise your hand and then we give you an opportunity to ask questions so that's let's specifically related to the context of what we're discussing today and then where devarayan will share his views and experiences or number two quickly share your respective questions on the chat box and then we will take those questions on behalf of you and we will ask to mr devraj so how or either way we can ask questions now is the time for open questions to the members so yes bona first question over to you if you wish to ask thank you prakash thanks a lot that's a lovely gift you get thank you and the question was very simple too thank you <laughs> <laughs> always Uh, first let me congratulate mr devrai actually uh, i think the three analogies that you used are fantastic first time i'm hearing of, of leaders connected being connected to street lights okay <laughs> like one bright street light and there many so in other words everybody can be a leader so that was a fantastic analogy and the second analogy about bonfire and how to be close and yet not too close that again was very nice i mean it's a first time i'm hearing such analogies and the third one about uh, wearing a rider without a helmet how if you are not compliance specific so all the time you're thinking of the wrong that you're doing rather than focusing on the right so all your three analogies were just out of the world and i'll never forget it in any of my talks i'm going to use them with your permission <laughs> no problem so i 
I I have given a copyright to you. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, uh, actually, like you know, one thing here I would like to specify here, Dorna. Like you know, you have told that okay. So how did you use the street light? Because nobody have told that. Actually, like you know, there is a thing behind it. Like you know, you can learn from every part, every walk of your life. Like you know, when you are walking, you see the street light, and street light is there in 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 uh, equal distance. distances or in some distances where you where, where you miss this light the other light will catch you up and it will take you through that so so when you when you try when you want to learn or when you try to learn definitely the world is there for you so like leaders connect you when people are there <laughs> connected through leaders connect so only to learn right like there are a lot of opportunities and there are a lot of ways you will uh, learn but only thing is you should be open <laughs> yeah true so, uh, okay my question to you is okay uh what is the one thing that i should be telling the teenagers to become good leaders of tomorrow what is okay. the one thing that they need to learn um, okay so maybe you, since you are practicing the uh, you know the teenage counseling and other stuff so it will be very good uh, actually uh, nowadays what teenagers think generally my, my thing is like you know they wanted to uh, be trusted as soon as they are sighted so today somebody is coming to uh, you know devrain for an interview and they feel that okay he has to be trusted immediately so from tomorrow onwards so devrain has to break, give the uh, you know bunch of key to the to the to the people mm-hmm. and uh, but that's not the case um, actually the trust has to be earned my previous chairman will always say you need to earn the trust Mm. the trust is not something which you can get easily which has to be earned through your actions right like you know the trust will be gained you cannot say that hey, please trust me here but the feeling of yourself will come to them okay he is a trusted person through your actions so that may take some time but only i think I, you the teenagers i can tell them is be patient be patient for that moment you will be trusted once the trust is imbibed or imposed on you the world is yours definitely people will trust you and give this uh, uh, you know leadership to you but until then please be patient and deliver what is right and what is expected out of you but until then be patient the patience is a very key because now we are in the faster world you book a you book a you know uh, food in zomato the next 20 minutes your food is there in the you know door and uh, if you book some grocery the another 10 minutes you will be there in your bar <laughs> this thing footsteps so people like uh, uh, like applications apps and other stuff people uh, the, the young generation people would love to uh, uh, attain everything on a very very fast mode i don't say no there are certain things which you can get fast uh, we are in a very rapid mode but not all but not the trust definitely not the trust the trust cannot be an application <laughs> application based where you have to earn the trust until then be patient so patience is the key word i can give it to the teenagers so until you get trusted so actually i will i would put one of my uh, experience also I, i when i have joined as an administrator from the textile i have been moved to hr now basically i am not a hr so when i moved to hr uh, i was a, it was a first time hr job for me and when i have when i have gone into the company nobody have seen me like you know nobody have trusted me nobody have nobody is knowing that i can do a hr job so because the job is new to me it it required some time like you know to prove that yes i also can do a hr job i also can do a admin job so after the uh, after they after they trust that okay he can do the job they have given the entire stuff on me so say that okay yaar they were and it is uh, henceforth it is yours so but with the patience uh, yes we have to have right very rightly said thank you thank you thanks a lot for the question thanks thanks very much uh, devran for sharing that trust is one of the important factor which you have highlighted and especially for the teenagers what needs to be done is what it is and i really like the practical examples with the way you you connected is awesome and wonderful superb so keeping that in mind uh, devran you also in fact we also have uh, two questions on the chat box i believe one from archana it herself okay archana who is a passionate discussion leader asks one more question but i believe she wanted to ask and time was in so she was not able to ask so she is sharing that on the chat box with us so before i share archana's uh, question 
all the members and visitors here. Uh, we have the LinkedIn ID of Mr. Devarayan as well as Ms. Archana on the chat box. Feel free to connect with them uh, so that they'll be able to, uh, in case of any future needs, you can always interact with them and what you want to share. So uh, they were on the quick question of Archana and I believe if any other questions are there, remember, please raise your hands or write in the chat box. But provided now, time is already pressing. So let me take this question of Archana. Uh, it's a specific or generic question, both I would say, Devarayan. The question is, who is the best leader? A born leader or a learned leader? It's okay. on the chat box. So a born well, think, leader uh, or a learned leader? That's what she's asking. <laughs> my chat box doesn't have the question, I don't know. She has sent it to me directly. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. fine. Okay. okay, so uh, a born leader or a uh, uh, what is it? Can you <laughs> I have the shared the question on the chat box. The born leader or a learned leader? Yeah, that's what she's asking. Uh, okay, Devrian, Devrian has already explained right at the opening that those coming from the family leaders, you know, they just they are installed. Can I come? Can I come, sir? Uh, one minute, Anil Goswami. Sir, I believe you are speaking, yeah. right? Mr. Anil, you are talking, right? Just a minute, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I, I understand you have raised your hand. So you like to yes. answer this question or this question is asked to Mr. Devarayan. Then I'll give yes. you one more opportunity. Just give me a moment. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, Devarayan, sir, you want to take uh, even Anil Goswami's point of views now or a little later? How do you prefer? Anyway, no problem. See, like in a born leader or a <laughs> leader by learning, what, what makes more sense is, yes, are they delivering the required skills? Are they doing the required uh, things at the end of the day? See, like, some leaders are born and some leaders are uh, like, you know, what do you call it as? They have been learned and become. So nowadays, bond leaders are very less. So only the sons and daughters of the leaders are becoming leaders. That's Those people are called now the bond leaders. <laughs> but otherwise, most of the leaders in the present scenario are learned leaders. But however, certain people will have the skills, uh, uh, like, you know, generally by themselves. Or uh, uh, I cannot differentiate that, yes, bond leader is good or the learned leader is good. Both are good one, only if they deliver what they are supposed to deliver. <laughs> Maybe uh, that's what my answer is. Yeah, because, you know, uh, at the end of the day, like, you know, uh, our, our expectations are very matter. We're very, it's very matter for us. So whether True. they are born and delivering or they have learned and delivering, so like, you know, maybe in one of the case, actually, I'll let you know, I don't know whether the time press. Okay. So one, one small question is like, you know, uh, I, I'm also in one of the community called Reader's Community, Reader's Community, okay. wherein we have, means the people talk about the learning the skills to, to behave with the people and all this stuff. So I think one guy have attended uh, some 13 days program of that. And he says that after attending the program, he says that, okay, one incident he quoted in the petrol pump uh, to be, you know, to not to get angry. Okay, so this incident is not a good time. So he was he was he was angry all the time. Uh, earlier he was very angry. Whenever there is a shortfall, whenever he finds some mistakes, he will be angry. Okay. So then uh, one fine day he went to, after this attending the sessions and all, uh, uh, like leaders uh, community and leaders connect and all. He is going to a petrol pump where he fills the petrol in his bike uh, for 130 rupees, and uh, he gave uh, 150 rupees. So the, the lady was supposed to give her 20 rupees back. Yes. Right. And uh, he, she filled it and locked, he locked and just moved ahead for waiting for the 20 rupees change. And she didn't give, she didn't notice this and she went on to patrol the uh, other bike and all. He was just waiting for some time, like thinking that he would be giving, she would be giving back the 20 rupees, but she never gave. But at the end of the day, she, uh, uh, he, uh, one of the other guy, he says, sir, what are you standing for? <laughs> so, is it over or not? Then uh, he, then he laughed and he smiled and he went to the lady and said that, uh, uh, yes, madam, I know you are busy. Uh, you are, uh, means at least since you are, uh, since you are there, you forgot to give me the change. But if at all I am in your place, I would have forgot to get the money only, madam. <laughs> like then she, oh, then she, then she, oh, he was very, very sorry, sir. <laughs> then she gave 20 rupees back. But uh, he was also telling that uh, before attending all these sessions or, or, or learning all these sessions, how he would have behaved. He himself is telling that. I would have argued that, you know, hey, I have given 150 rupees to open the CCTV camera, whether I have given it or not. 
so please check it up and give me 30 rupees back what are you be so this is what the scenario it could have been before he attends all these sessions and all right yes. uh, he before he got this learnings but after that he got uh, like you know fully turned up and said that okay i have handled this fully here i have handled the situation very coolly but you know she was also not uh, what you call it as hurt by the by the ego right she he didn't hurt her ego so True. the matter ends up very coolly so this is how i think just going some example for the born and <laughs> learned leadership and, and and i would really agree the point of learned leader what you highlighting and the example of petrol bunk is awesome it shows that empathizing the other person or empathizing the other person's viewpoints feelings or what work she could be in and then sharing the pointers will the people really accept it so that's the point of a learned leader concept wonderful mm-hmm. devaran uh, uh, very very happy so archana i think have got, got the readers on the through example yes devaran sorry you were about to say one more no no point. this i have got it from readers community credits to them ah <laughs> yeah true. so that is we all learn or understand or take certain things from each other right so true true yes. definitely thank you so we'll go with one last question of mr anil goswami uh, so in the interest of time let's make it short so i understand it's already 722 so yes mr anil goswami quickly you can go ahead with your question thank you prakash ji excellent presentation david and most of the things he has already covered only one thing i want to ask him you know in government bureaucracy even in private corporate sector those who are coming from i am or do or those who are coming through ias or allied services they are put right at the top even you have 40 year experience in operation or 30 year experience in operation you have to work under it you must have noticed this thing and what is your take on this thing and they are handling very well it is not a problem you, you see you see all bureaucracy all young officer in the age group of 35 40 they are all secretaries and you know joint secretaries of this rank and they are handling the whole department same thing in iim people when they join they join and uh, something like you know assistant vice president or they start with this thing and they very shortly within 2 3 4 year what is that thing you know and everybody is happy also to to you know by their delivery or by their productivity thank you so actually i have recently i have recently read this article mr anil goswami so thanks for this question uh, maybe uh, yesterday or day before yesterday i have read this article wherein the government employees have posted the query to the government saying that boss so we are all ex- put an experience of 30 to 40 years in this department and uh, at the end of the day you are giving some new collector or new pf commissioner like you know most of the pf commissioners esi directors and you know the district collectors and on the key positions we will bring ias people and uh, like you know ias ips and all these officers where are where they are very young or they don't have any experiences and all this stuff and people are working uh, below them so maybe i am not a good expert to uh, maybe i can analyze but i am not a good expert to uh, in answering the government related questions but my analysis to this is like you know maybe I, again i will i will quote with my own example uh, in my career i have worked in a company called aprajita corporate services where i was heading uh, the south region uh, for compliances i was heading the south region and uh, the people who are reporting to me there are there were about four people who were reporting to me all were elders to me by 5 years by 10 years and by 15 years but uh, initially i also felt that you know there was a uh, there was a kind of hesitation okay yaar i am going to report to a person who is very younger to me and uh, maybe a kind of i have put in some 10 years of 15 years of experience in this company something like that but when days goes by so when days goes by uh, maybe at the, the, that will happen at the, the very initial stage but when days goes by it is my responsibility to make them that okay yaar you are you are not uh, uh, you are not under a dictatorship so you are also a part of the team and you are also have by the design by the design right this is i I, will, i would call this as a design by the design an ias officer or an ips officer or somebody who was ifs who will have to head that particular department by design but at the end of the day uh, people who are reporting to the elders right like you know maybe one thing they have to understand is like you know only by uh, reporting to the younger person they will not lose their ego at the same time uh, uh, the person who is hitting the elderly people are not superheroes 
they also need to understand that yeah they are also human beings by design we have become a uh, we have become a you know leader for this particular position or this organization and i need to take them along with me so when the both the sides understanding is there then i think uh, uh, there would be no, there would not be any misunderstanding in the team at all so i think that would be my take away in this by design yes <laughs> they have to be thank you thank you thanks for your very humbleness you know every question you handled in a very nice way thank you thank you thank you thank you sir thank you awesome awesome wonderful uh, <coughs> answer devrayan and uh, really the few points were very in nutshell which you are sharing which really gives an uh, open uh, opening our eyes and that kind of a presence is makes me feel uh, wonderful devrayan superb and thanks very much algo swami for your question that's also an awesome question so with this uh, we come closer to an end of this episode uh, 71 so lc071 and uh, every week as we all do a summary so i would request mr uh, Sendil Kumar from Daimler India Private Limited to quickly summarize what are the key pointers, which are the key points. I'm sure uh, in uh, nutshell, I'm sure we'll be able to share from Sendil. So yes, Sendil, over to you uh, for your summary of what all are key takeaways. And I have unmuted you. Kindly check. Yes, Sendil, please go ahead. Thank you very much, Prakash, and thanks, uh, Devarayan, for the uh, awesome message on the new era of leadership. As time is pressing, I would like to. Uh, summarize it in the keep it short uh, the first takeaway is uh, as we go about the past the authority was with the board members or we would say as the senior management which keeps disseminating or percolating down the organization structure and today now that there we see a paradigm shift like how uh, the street lights it keeps glowing from the main source so this was one of the good uh, metaphor that we could like to see in the new leadership era and second thing is uh, uh, powering the people irrespective of designation and experiencing experience brings maturity when we learn from it and the third is bond fire so how to maintain a threshold limit with with the senior management so that should be one natural uh, followed or imbibed by the young leaders as we go up in the ladder how loyalty can uh, help to emphasizing interacting with the cross functional department to gain more transparency and last but not least is uh, accept what you cannot change and live how to uh, and know how to live with that know how to, and and from the retention of the employees i see that uh, you have given some uh, uh, list about the uh, how compliance plays a vital role or pivotal role in this and trust can be earned by your action until then be patient good the last but not least is uh, as the uh, leaders delivers as long as the dealers leaders are able to deliver excellent it doesn't matter whether they are born leader or learned leaders so that is a quick take away from this uh, the... true true <clears throat> awesome uh, summary uh, sendel excellent thanks very much for making a nutshell i would request you to yeah. share those pointers also in the group so it helps yeah. other people who might have missed our episode today and i'm sure they also will be taking up these pointers so they may already i believe mr giri giri is already type type please is already asking type please <laughs> yes giri <laughs> mr sendil will be able to do it for you on the groups you will be getting great yes so thanks sendil and uh, they were it's so awesome interacting with you and uh, there were certain key pointers which has been taken on this specific new era of leadership which is highlighted and been taken forward so now as the time is pressing i would request uh, mr uh, uh, pankaj to uh, kindly do the word of thanks and thank all the people and then also introduce the next week's leader as who is going to join us so over to you pankaj yes hi prakash thank you for giving uh, thanks for giving me another opportunity to speak this evening so devran sir again want to thank you for all the wonderful insights simply explain about the leadership and i can say that i have really collected some input which will definitely help me to you know put it in my practical life so thank you so much for giving all the insight so before me sharing about the next week leader let me quickly share again the purpose of the community for the visitors who are attending first time leaders connect is an online leadership community where every week on a wednesday from 6:30 to 7:15 we invite a top management leader from a reputed corporate company to share the solutions for our real time leadership challenges either on leading self 
leading others or leading your business like how we have today, Mr. Dave Ryan with us. So thank you so much, sir. This Let Us Connect 360 Online Leadership Committee also gives an opportunity to network with people on the last Wednesday of every month through online and once in three months with a direct networking at each city to network with working professionals for personal, professional, or a social media. That's when we call as leaders create more leaders. If you wish to join our community, please click on the WhatsApp link, group link, which is on your chat box, and you will be able to join to receive weekly updates and call us on the number shared on the WhatsApp, and then we will add you in our community. So now I'm happy to introduce the next week leader, Mr. Vijay Sivaram, his director, Quiz Corporation. So we'll have his insights next week. So members who wish to be the panel discussion can give your names on the WhatsApp group and in, or interact with Mr. Prakash Sharma. Please do click on the below link on the chat box to register yourself for the next week episode. So thank you so much once again, Dev Ryan, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your it's, valuable it's time. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So for the guests and the visitors, members, we have a special thanking video. Thank you. So over to you, Prakash. You're on mute. Yeah, sorry. I was on mute. And thanks very much, Pankaj, for sharing the word of thanks. And Devarayan, uh, we have a special thank you video which we share for all our members and visitors. And after this video, uh, all our members and guests and visitors, we have a short networking time where we'll be given opportunity to interact with each other, introduce more yourself. So, Mr. Devarayan, if time permits, we will request you to stay back. Or in case if you have any other appointments or commitments, it's completely fine. So here's the thank you video for you for all in fact. Yes, so let Thanks. me quickly share them. Yeah. That's an awesome uh, interaction which we had today and uh, Mr. Devarayan is in here and uh, we also have the other leaders. So now is the time where we all network with each other. So uh, members and uh, all the other visitors who are in here for the first time, after every episode, we have a networking time where we give an opportunity to introduce yourself as what you do or what's your profession and connect with the like-minded professionals as you are. So here we also have today a couple of new people. But before that, let me thank once again, Archana Shriram for the awesome panel discussion leader. Thank you very much, Archana. And we have Mr. Karthikeyan Raghu who's also joined us. Mr. Mayyappan has joined us. Mr. Karthikeyan, would you like to please introduce yourself, Karthikeyan Raghu? We are given an option to unmute yourself as well so you can unmute yourself easily. Okay, also we are going to remove the spotlight so adds value and we can stop recording. Okay, we also have Mr. Mayapin. Mayapin, uh, if you'd like to 